Hello. We have returned back to the seas of blazing sails. Now, what have we got today? Well, we got automatic weapons, shotguns, explosives? Well, you've come to the right place. So, what have we got? Well, to begin with, let's start with the automatics. Half barrel. Purple rated. 30 damage a shot, 2.5 seconds reload time. With the same projectile drop rate as a flintlock. So keep that in mind. So, 4 shots, 30 damage. Well, that's an 04. Is a kill. Again, a headshot and two bodies. That's a kill. Then two headshots and a body. Say with me, that's a kill. And obviously, don't need to explain that. <laughs> so, this gun rocks. Just in a close range battle, it's probably some decent damage. Compared to the uh, weapons, it's got quite a little bit of uh, recoil. But how is it like cursed? Well, I'll tell you. As a cursed weapon, it is 22 damage, meaning it will be 33 on headshot. Meaning. You, s you can still do quite a lot of damage, though you'll need headshots to make sure you get a magazine worth of kills. And that is the half bow. Do I recommend it? Yeah. It's easy to use. It's not bad at all. High damage per shot, too. On to the repeater. Now. The fastest firing gun in the game, technically, if you don't count the uh, dual wheel pistols. So, 12 damage with 12 mag combined, that's 144 base. If you land all short, 4 shot, 4? 12 shots. It has half the drop rate, but it has a slight edge in reload speed. So let's see how this thing fires. Oh yeah. While staying still, your accuracy is unhindered. But while on the move, it's a bit windy. But if, if you get to jump on someone, yeah, death slowly appears. I would normally use these long range dummies, and that ship moved a little. Interesting. <laughs> So you can so with this and the half bow you can take hot shots at long range targets. But they're weapons for close to medium range at best. Nice. So about curse damage for this thing. Well, it's a bit uh painful at nine damage. And with that Leaves the gun at able to kill in one mag for to the body. That means you have to land all 12 shots to kill the target. Obviously headshots speed up the process. So would I recommend the repeater? You know what? It's quite disliked in Galleon Conquest because of how easy it is to get and how oppressive it can be when just getting shot out by this thing. But for a new player... I'd recommend it. Lots of bullets, lots of fun. So that's the automatic weapons we've gone through. Let's have a look at some pellet based weaponry. The blunderbuss. Very fast reload of 1.8 seconds. Damage per pellet is 6. And if I am correct, the damage is 66. If you land all 11 pellets. But per shot you use 4 ammo to shoot. 
So body shot 66, maximum headshot is 99. So you won't be able to get that one shot. And I should clarify, even when staying still, pellets will fly all over the place. But obviously, if you sit still, it'll try to go at the center as much as can. If I move them after in, well, I don't need to uh, say anything. That explains itself. Let's try a long range shot. Yeah, no chance. <laughs> now, cursed. Cursed, if I can remember, it brings it down to 4 damage a shot. So that means 44 max body and 66 max headshot. This blunderbuss is a gun that. If you literally got nothing else, it's one of those weapons you just pick up and hope for the best. You'll soon replace it with a higher tier weapon. Or hell, a crossbow, if you prefer. <laughs> I recommend it. Well, if you got nothing else, use the blunderbuss. Now we come to its legendary counterpart. But not gun. As you can see, Double damage. Well, per shot anyway. But it drops from 6. Well, it goes from 6 damage to 12. And, but the ammo cast goes from 4 to 7. And the pellet count goes from 11 to 7. But in the case of the knockdown, body shot. Easy 4 damage. And on headshot. That's 126. Yes, this gun will one shot if the pellet, if m multiple headshots occur. And in comparison to the blunderbuss, it's got a, a tighter, a tighter cone in comparison, allowing you to actually pseudo snipe with it. Let's have a look. Hello, dude. Yeah, no chance. <laughs> Knock gun. You'll find it in chests or very rarely as a drop item. The damage card is a lie for now, unless they change it. But in game, it's 12 damage with 18 headshot. Two, po two and a half seconds reload speed, same as the uh, half barrel we just looked at. So, curse damage about so it's so it's nine damage a hit with about 13 to 14 headshot damage on curse it's still quite a lot of damage but the only issue is curse damage usually ruins weapons in a way with the damage reduction so i wouldn't recommend curse with this thing but on a normal player well, let's see if anyone wants to try climb up a ladder with this thing pointed down it. <laughs> Recommend it. If you're going to be protecting your ship mainly. Not gun. It's a powerful blast. Now we come to the firm part of the uh, showcase. Bombs. So. The bomb launcher. So it does 30 damage on impact. Two second reload. And 15 projectile drop rate, but slow projectile speed. And if I remember, because as you can see, these targets don't showcase the explosion damage as proven. Let's see, I'll just shoot the leg. Okay, the leg counts too. Okay. Let's see. So if I remember, it is about 65 damage. As explosion, explosive. So, 30 plus the explosion. That's 95 if you were to stick. However, land the headshot, you're one shot in the person. No matter who they are. Bomb launcher demands respect. Would I recommend it? Of course, it's a grenade launcher. You can actually hide around corners. And just shoot at people. Oh, guy behind his post. 
Oh, free damage. And it reloads decently fast, so we keep pumping out them bombs. Bomb launcher. Damn fun. Just gotta get them sticks. Shoulder cannon. Now we go to a bit extreme. <laughs> 60 damage on impact. I think it's Let's see. I think it does either 98 damage on impact or it one shots. Because there's been cases where I've hit someone and it doesn't kill them. In other cases, it does kill them. So it probably does one shot someone. But you can headshot. <laughs> so. Oh, I should have clarified. Bomb launcher cannot damage a ship. Whereas the shoulder cannon, at the cost of reduced damage, well, we just missed. <laughs> there we go. So normally, a, so a normal cannon ball, five damage. Cannon ball in a swivel cannon, three damage. Shoulder cannon, two damage. So, obviously, this and the bomb launcher both suffer reduced damage. But the bomb launcher is a bit easier to use because you just can kind of shoot at the floor. Or if you get the stick, you do a lot of damage either way. This is a bit more needed to be careful where you aim because you've got a whole extra second of reload to deal with. So, it's definitely a fun weapon because you can use it as a... Extra cannon to shoot ships, and that can get annoying, especially when you hit people way in the mouth with the it. But now we come to the most beloved weapon of the seas. Rawfish launcher! Look at this. Improvised fish launcher. Two second reload, same as the bomb launcher, same drop rate. But the projectile speed is a little quicker. And as you can see, same with the bomb launcher, you can happily splash damage people down. So on body, well, on a body shot, it's a roughly 86 damage, about that, or 90s. But on headshot, one shot. Fish launcher, like the bomb launcher, demands the respect for this one. You got fish. So I can uh, long range it. Oh, almost. Let's see. Come on, there. <coughs> Very nice. We're sinking. Yes, I know we're sinking. God damn it! <laughs> Will I recommend it. Of course, it's the fish launcher. You can't go wrong with it. Curse damage. Well, well, in the range of sixty to ninety damage, depending on headshot or body shot. So yeah. That's the fish launcher. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Kind of a little speed run guide of all these weapons because they're different categories but it wouldn't be worth separating them because it's not enough to justify it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment for any tips or hell, even any corrections. And I'll catch y'all next time. Don't forget to subscribe. This has been the simple, the simplest of cats.